It's the National Lottery in it to win it. Tonight with a lotto rollover. Now, please welcome your host. It's Dale Winton. Yes. Thank you. What a warm welcome. A good evening. Welcome to the National Lottery in it to win it. Now, in tonight's National Lottery draws, a huge fortune to be won. Will you be a winner at home? I'm really hoping you will. And here in the studio, I have up to £100,000 waiting to be won and five eager players waiting to take the cash. Come on, let's meet them. They are Soraya. Helen. Daniel, here's the deal. They don't need to be sitting over there. That's the waiting area. If they can make it over to Winner's Row, does mean I could well be handing them a cheque for a lot of money. Thing is, who will be the first person to sit in Winner's Row? You each have your own colour. Let's find out who's going to play first. <laughs> It's yellow, it's going to be coming to money. Hi, darling. How are you? Oh, I love to meet you. You too. Come and sit down. You look very glamorous. Thank you. Very beautiful. And, uh, oh, I see a little tattoo here. Mm. Is that butterfly? It is. Very pretty. Thank you. Where have you come from? I come from Hampton, Middlesex. OK, and who's here with you for support? I have my son and my sister. You don't look old enough to have a son. How old is he? He's nearly 23. What do you do in Hampton? I'm a freelance fitness instructor and personal trainer. OK. Do you specialise in anything in particular, like, uh, I don't know, uh, cardio or weights or...? Um, pretty general. I, d I, d I teach uh, Pilates, spin, aqua, I, and then I train people in their homes and in the gym. How much would you like to go home with tonight? Ideally, um, 80,000. What would you do with the money? We're in the process of um, moving house at the moment, and I'd like to build a studio for my business in the back. Oh, you mean a dance studio or like a workout studio? Like a workout studio. You've got the best seat, the first one here. Every question, as you know, is worth £5,000. Every wrong answer sends you to the red area. We don't want that. Two ways out of that, back where you started or back to Winner's Row. Won't think about it. Let's not worry about the red area. Let's worry about getting some money in the prize fund, of which there is nothing at the moment. Let's put five grand in right away. Here is your first question. Peter Jones and Hilary DeVay have both appeared regularly in which TV series? Is it Strictly Come Dancing, Dragon's Den, or The Apprentice? I'm thinking I know this one. Strictly Come Dancing, um, I don't think so. But as the answers came up and I looked at the names, uh, the first name, I know of. Peter, Peter Jones. Jones. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking it's Dragon's Den. Would you like me to take Dragon's Den as your answer? Yes, Dale. I accept Dragon's Den. Peter Jones and Hilary DeVay, did they both appear regularly on Dragon's Den? Let's make it £10,000. Here's your next question. Andre Villas Boas became manager of which football club in 2012? Would it be Fulham, Tottenham Hotspur, or Liverpool? I was really hoping I wouldn't get a football question. <laughs> right. Is this really so, useless to you? Mm, uh, let's think about this. Um, I'm going to go for Tottenham Hotspur. Shall I accept Tottenham Hotspur as your answer? Yes, please. OK. I've accepted Tottenham Hotspur. If it's Spurs, you've dodged one you really didn't like. And there's 10 grand in there. Is it Tottenham Hotspur? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Here's your third question. Firework was a British hit single in 2010 for which singer? Would it be Taylor Swift, 
Katy Perry or Pink? I think I know this one. I think it's Katy Perry. Is that the answer you would like me to take? Yes, please. Okay. I've accepted Katy Perry, if you're right. Third time lucky and 15 grand. And very importantly, you're on your own in Winner's Row, which I like. That's good. Is it Katy Perry? Yes! <laughs> okay, let's make it £20,000, Gandhi. Here's your question. In chemistry, what is the name for a substance that can be used to speed up chemical reactions? Is it catalyst, pheromone, or quark? That's quite a bunch of names there. It is. I'm thinking possibly catalyst because a catalyst is... I know something for some sort of reaction or process to take place. Right. So I'm going to go for Catalyst. Shall I accept Catalyst? Yes, please. OK, I accept Catalyst. Is it Catalyst? Yeah! <laughs> Let's make it £25,000. Here's your next question. How many of Henry VIII's wives were beheaded? Oh, yes, he didn't like them much, did he? Um, would it be one, two, or three? Yeah, he used to go off with their heads, didn't he? Yes. I'm just trying to think how many wives he had. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can't help no. you. I can't help <laughs> I mean, yeah. I know it was more than one. I'm pretty sure it was more than one. Um, three? Would you like me to take three as your answer? I think so. Yes, please. Yes? OK. Manjeet says three. Is it three? Please let it be three. No. Two. <laughs> I think three would have been pushing it a bit. Yeah, well, hey, two, you three, know, five, two, you three, know. Exactly. <laughs> For now, please make your way to red. Sorry, Manjeet. <laughs> OK, we have four people waiting in the waiting area to join me in Winner's Row. Which one of you guys is going to join me? Let's find out. <laughs> it's green, it's Helen. Yes, yes the money. <laughs> Hello, Helen. Hello, darling. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Good. Come with me. Hi. And Manji's been keeping the seat warm for you. Yes. It's all the girls tonight. And you're all looking very glamorous. The first thing I noticed was, I love your shoes. Because <laughs> that was the first time I'd really seen them. Thank you. Where have you come from, darling? London. Ah, London. Yes. Are we, are we north or south, south of the... South London. Which part? Near Croydon. Have you always lived in Croydon? No. Have you moved south of the river, or have uh, you... No, I'm still in South London. Really? Yeah, Where were you before? I was in Tootin before. Now, this isn't getting the job done. Who did you bring with you, Helen, for support? <laughs> Where were my we? lovely husband and my son. Good to see you. <laughs> Now, what do you do for a living? I work for the Marines and Sea Cadets. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. Are you uh, uniformed? No, I'm not uniformed. I um, actually work in personnel looking after the volunteers. Are there still many volunteers? Lots. There are many good volunteers out there still doing good job for us. How much do you want to go home with tonight? As much as possible, Dale. You went, oh, <laughs> you went, just then, you went, oh, as much as possible. Yes. How much is as much? What, um, 100? Oh, no, well... So what would you do with 100 grand? You've obviously had a list in your mind. Yes, certainly what have. What would it be? Um, it would be taking the whole family, all of us, all together to Trinidad, where I was born. <sighs> Wonderful. And then... Um, my son would like me to clear his uni fees. I'll have to clear that as well. The son? That son, yes. And um, obviously, we'd probably get a new car as well. It's about time we got a new one on the road, really. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Dale. Helen, I'll be back with you in a moment with okay. your first question. Manjeet! Hello, Dale. You've done very well. You've put £20,000 in the prize fund. It's unfortunate you find yourself in the red area. However, it's early enough to change things around and put more money back. In the red area, one question. This is not multiple choice. Manjeet, for the chance to return to Winner's Row, here is your question. Which 2012 movie starring Tom Cruise, Russell Brand and Alec Baldwin features rock music from the 1980s? You know this. You do know this. I'm thinking I do. 
um, only because I heard the hype, not because I've seen it. <laughs> and being a 2012 film, obviously, um, is quite recent. Rock of Ages is coming to mind, but I know that's possibly a play. Rock of Ages. Would you like me to take Rock of Ages? Yes, please, Dale. Accepted, sealed, done. If it is right, the hype works, because you remembered it. Is the answer Rock of Ages? Yes. There you go, back to Wins Row. Ellen. We can make it 25 grand. Let me see Helen's first question. What sort of animal is the children's book character Curious George? Is it a monkey, an elephant, or a mouse? I know this one. Really reading the story to my youngest daughter. Not a mouse, not elephant. Curious George is a monkey. Would you like me to take monkey as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. I accept monkey. I hope you're right. And if it is, you played the game well. Time is money. You're not wasting any time. You're going straight for it. Is it? Yes! Well done. Okay. I'm thinking you'd have liked that one, too. Yes. Okay. 25 grand. The Claxton goes right now. You're looking at 12 and a half grand a piece. We want it up to 80 at least. Here's your next question for 5,000 pounds. Minsk is the capital city of which country is it? Moldova, Belarus, or Georgia? I feel like I'm doing the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> over to Moldova, over to Belarus, over to Georgia, for the point. What do you reckon? The answer doesn't straight away jump out at me. OK. Um, and it could be any one of those. My gut feeling says Moldova. Does that mean you would like me to take that as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Manjeet, I shall. If that is right, uh, you've dodged another one you didn't like. And you've put another five grand in, and more importantly, you've retained your place in winner's row. Highly prized, but is it the right answer? Oh. Hello, Roos. Now please make your way to red. So, Sarah, Scott and Danielle are all hoping to join me over here in Winner's Row. Who's it going to be? Let's find out. <laughs> in team, it's Sarah! Come on, it's the money! Ooh, Sarah! <laughs> what have you girls done to the guys tonight? <laughs> girls? What have you done to the boys? Oh, You've cast a spell. Soraya, I love your name. Thank you. Um, it's, it's Asian Oriental, that name? Yeah, it's actually um, Asian in origin, but um, my dad's Spanish, so... It doesn't um, sound like Spanish either. No, it's quite a Spanish... Um, oh, it's quite is popular it? in Spain. I thought Soraya was sort of like... because there was a Persian. There was a yeah. famous princess Soraya, yeah. wasn't there? Um, who did you bring with you for support? Where I've got are we? my mum, Karen, and my partner, Mike. Um, where have you come from? I've come from Nottingham today. Well, yeah, I used to live in Nottingham. I know the area very well. Okay. I used to be a Radio Tramp boy. Yeah. What do you do, darling? Uh, well, I'm a full-time mum. Right. But I do two days um, administration as well. Is that because you want to be independent? Because I'm sure having kids is a full-time job anyway. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a nice balance. They get to interact with other children at nursery and things like that, and then I get a bit of, oh, I can have a cup of tea in peace. <laughs> so tonight, if you win 100 grand, the money will go towards? Um, well, I'm hoping he'd propose. <laughs> And um, we'd go to Vegas and get married. Mum, talk to me. No? It's about time, Dale. It's about time, Dale, she said. It's about time. Listen, I wish you luck. Thank you. You can relax. I'll be back with your first question in a moment. Manji, what happened again? Dale, I think my gut instinct is perhaps uh, playing well, off. Well, no, bit. because it was right the first time. It was. Tottenham Hotspur did not let yeah. you down. OK, 25 grand. You know how it works in the red area. One question, not multiple choice. I wish you luck. Let me see your red area question. In 2011, 
Michael D. Higgins became the president of which European country? It's politics, Dale. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm going to give you support. I'm going to come and sit next to you, make you feel good about everything. So you're not alone. I know there was an election in France. You couldn't miss that one. Um, but that's not a very French name. Where do you think he would be? Well, I know where he wouldn't be. Um, my husband's going to be screaming at me because he's, he's very good with this. It's not France. It's not Germany. I'm going to say Spain. Am I to take Spain as your answer? Yes, Dale. I've accepted Spain. Um, let's not keep Manjeet in misery any longer. Please reveal to me the answer. Ireland. Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. Of course. I'm so sorry. For now, please go right back where you started. I'm so sorry, Manjeet. Why are you ready for your first question? Yes, Dale. Here we go. The Mercury Prize is awarded annually in which field? Is it the literature, science, or music? Oh, goodness me. Now, for some reason, I think um, a, mer a Mercury man. I'm thinking a man and someone holding it to do with music. I don't, I don't know why. Um, and I should really know this because it's like the Turner Prize with art, but I mean, whatever it is. Um, I'm going to say music, Dale. Would you like me to take music as your answer? Yes, please. Done. We have an arrangement. We've said music. If it's right, there'll be 30 grand in the prize fund. Yes, you're right. We need to move on. Don't hang around. If you don't hang around, we won't get some good money here. 30 grand. 15 apiece at the moment. How are you doing, Helen? Not too badly, thank you. Darling, let me show you your next question. Aki and saltfish is the national dish of which country? Is it Jamaica, Sri Lanka, or Egypt? Definitely isn't Egypt, Dale, nor Sri Lanka. And it's a dish I don't really like. It's Jamaica. OK, am I to take Jamaica as your answer? Yes, please. I accept it. Is it Jamaica? Yeah, you knew that. Is it really horrible? It's not like that. Like I'll avoid it. I'll avoid it. Soraya, we're looking at 35 grand, 17 and a half grand a piece if the klaxon went. Here's your next question. Jonathan Brownlee and his brother Alistair won Olympic medals in which sport in 2012? Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good, are you happy or not? Let me look at your choices. They are. Show jumping, triathlon, and rowing. Right, I think I know it now the options have come up because I knew that they were brothers and I know one had to stop because um, he had a problem with something. Um, and I'm going to say triathlon. Shall I take that as your answer? Yes, please, sir. Done. Is it right? Yes. Awesome. You're looking at 20 grand a piece here. We can make this 45 grand. That would be nice. Be Here's nice. your next question. I promise, no more ackee fish. <laughs> Here's your next question. What is the meaning of the phrase hasta la vista when translated from the Spanish? Is it that's life, I have forgotten, or see you later? Hasta la vista. It's not I have forgotten, definitely. I'm not sure that's life and see you later. I'll go for see you later, Dale. Would you like me to accept see you later as your answer? Yeah. I accept see you later. If Hasta La Vista is see you later, we've got 45 grand and you're still here in Winners Realm. We've got the girls working in beautiful harmony. <laughs> is it see you later? I'm trying to think. 
Wasn't that the Arnold Schwarzenegger? Hasta la vista, baby. Was that, was that Arnie? Is it? All oh, right. In other words, I'll be back. I'll be back, yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, you won't have to go anywhere. You're back. You're here already. You're staying. Soraya, this would make it a nice round 50. Five grand a question. Here's your next question. Which spice is known as sweetwood? Is it cinnamon, paprika, or pepper? Now, I've not heard of it being described as this, but I suppose by process of elimination, I know that cinnamon comes from the bark of a tree or a plant and it's rolled into like a wood kind of log shape. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go cinnamon, Dale. Would please. you like me to take cinnamon as your answer? Yes, please. I accept cinnamon. I have no clue if it's right, but this much I will tell you. It is way head and shoulders above anything else, my favourite spice. Oh, I love cinnamon. I could have cinnamon on anything. I love it. I just love it. I'm Danish. Nice oh, on donuts. <laughs> on donuts. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon every time. But is it known as Sweetwood? Is it cinnamon? Yeah! I didn't know you get cinnamon donut. That would be heaven on a plate. Cinnamon donuts. Oh, wow. Uh, I bet you'd like a cinnamon donut. Oh, yes, I love cinnamon. 50 grand, 25 grand a piece. Uh, a very worried-looking waiting area over there, uh, thinking, will it be my turn? I, I really feel for uh, Manjeet, because she put a lot in. Let's make it another five grand. You ready, Helen? Still. Doing, you're playing a good game. <laughs> Here's your question. The WW1 posters bearing the slogan, Your Country Needs You, featured the image of which man? Would it be Robert Baden-Powell, Lord Kitchener or King George V? Your country needs you featured the image of one of those three uh, World War I posters. Definitely isn't Robert Baden Powell. History is not one of my favourites, Dale, but I'll have to. I've eliminated one already. Um, I'll have to go for Lord Kitchener. Would you like me to take Lord Kitchener as your answer? Yes, Dale. Done. If it's right, we'll have 55 grand in there. Is it Kitchener? Sure is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he stood there, yes, pointing. That's it, yeah. Your country needs you. Oh, well done. Oh, it's getting very grown up. OK, 55 grand. Soraya, here's your next question. Who co-wrote and starred in the 2011 movie Bridesmaids? Best film of the year, that was fabulous, was it? Kristen Wiig, Tina Fey, Jennifer Aniston. Now then, I've, I've seen it. And it was Isn't it wonderful? It's really funny, oh, I've really seen it four good. four times, I love it. I love it. I know Jennifer Aniston isn't in it, so I can get rid of her. Now it's out of the other two, and I think I don't know if both of them are in it or not, but Tina Fey's jumping out at me for some reason. I'm going to go Tina Fey. Shall I take Tina Fey as the answer? Yes, please. <laughs> Done? Yeah. Is it Tina Fey? Oh. Kristen Wiig. Oh. Kristen Wiig, I'm sorry, you know what that means. Please make your way to red. <laughs> Daniel and Manjeet stand by. One of you for sure will be joining me in Winners Row after you put five grand in. Try. Here we go. In martial arts, what is a dojo? Is it a belt, an instructor, or a training hall? What's a dojo? A dojo. Have you ever heard that? No. Me either. <laughs> I doubt it's a training hall, so... A belt. Oh. I'll have to eliminate belt as well, uh, Dale. I'll go for um, an instructor. Would you like me to take instructor as the answer? Yes. I accept it. If it's right, we'll have another five grand in there. If not, you're joining Soraya in the red area. Is it instructor? <laughs> no, oh, it's a training hall. Wow. Oh, no, please make your way to <laughs> yes. red. A 
it's getting very late in the game. This is not a good time to be in the red area. The good thing is the girls will be working together to get out of there back in winner's row. Which one of you guys is going to join me? Let's find out. It's why is it Scott trying to make some money? Hi, Scott. Good to see you. Come and sit down. Wow. You be very patient. <laughs> Daniel, how are you feeling? I'm OK. You're OK? I'm okay. And, of course, Manjeet's already been over. Scott, you the first time. Where have you come from? Warrings. Excellent. And who's with you for sports? Uh, my other half, Danielle, and my big brother, Neil. Good to see you. I wish you the best. How much money do you want to go home with? Um, ideally, something around the 60 or 70,000 mark would be perfect for us. What's the money for? Um, we've got a baby on the way. Right. And we've got a disabled little boy. OK. Um, so we need to move to a bigger house and the house will need a lot of changes and modifications for, for Elliot's for needs. For child, OK. Yeah. So the money would go a long way to help And us. a few home comforts would be nice. Yeah. A treat or two. Yeah. There's 55 grand in that prize fund. You're going to help make it a lot more and take home your share, but you don't have to do a thing right now. You don't even have to answer a question. <laughs> You're only here because I've got my two beauties. I've got to get them out of the red area. So I'll be back with your question. Meanwhile, girls, you know how the red area works. It's one question, this will not be multiple choice, and it's all or nothing. You both have to agree on an answer. If it is right, you're going back to winner's row. If it is wrong, you're going right back where you started. Let's see the red area question for the girls. I will not drink more than 14 alcohol units a week is the first line of which Ellen Fielding book? Now, the first thing that sprung to mind was Bridget Jones's diary, just because, but I can't remember who wrote it. I don't, I don't know if it was Helen Fielding. I have read it, but it was a really long time ago. I've not even seen the film, so I've no idea. It was a really long time ago, and she, and, and she writes in it like, I'll not eat that. I've had this many calories and I've drank this much alcohol. It sounds like a diary. Yeah. Like a, yeah. And so I'm just trying to think if there was anything else that's kind of that. I can't think of anything you know, there else. Were, I can't think of another book that would start like that. Um, I don't know, do you want to go for I'll Bridget Jones' diary? Do you yeah. want to go Bridget Jones' yeah. diary? <laughs> yes. Have you made up your mind? Yes, Dale. Yeah. OK. Helen, what would you like me to take? Bridget Jones' diary. Soraya, what would you like me to take? Bridget Jones' diary, please. Collectively, they agree. If it is the right answer, you're both going back to winner's row. Please tell me it is Bridget Jones' diary. <laughs> That's good. Right. Here we go. Let's put some more money in that prize fund. 55 grand. Here's your first question. Chris Ashton and Courtney Laws have represented England in which sport? Is it hockey, cricket or rugby union? My initial reaction before I saw the answers was cricket. Yes. Well, now that the answers are there and thinking about it, Chris Ashton's name rings a bell. I think he's a rugby player who does a very spectacular dive when he scores a try. Um, and a Courtney Laws isn't a name I've come across before. I'll go Rugby Union, I think, Dale. Would you like me to take Rugby Union as the answer? Yes, please. Excellent. We're motoring. Is it Rugby Union? Yes, well done. <laughs> Soraya. Let's make it 65 grand. I'm trying to beat the clock here, get you the money up. What is your next question? Which TV drama series is set in a BBC newsroom in the 1950s? Is it The Day, The Hour, The Week? I haven't seen it. I I haven't heard heard of it. I am um, I think in the back of my mind somewhere I can see like a a TV guide with The Hour or I've seen it as an advert or something so I'm just going to say the hour. I really don't know. Would you like me to take the hour as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Accepted. I hope you're right. If it's the hour, it's worth five grand. Is it the hour? Yes! Well done. OK. Let's 
take it, 70,000. Alan, are you ready? Yes, sir. Darling, here's your question. President Barack Obama's father was an economist from which African country? Was it Morocco, South Africa, or Kenya? It's my favorite person, President B Barack. Um, it isn't Morocco. Uh, sure, it's not South Africa, Dale. Uh, you take Kenya? Would you like me to take Kenya as the yeah. answer? Yeah. Please. Accepted. If that's right, we'll have 70 grand in the prize fund. Is it Kenya? Yes! Good. Oh! The clapping has sounded. That prize fund is frozen. Frozen at £70,000, which means only one thing. As I look at Winners Row, all three of you, three players are just one question away from taking home their share of that 70 grand. The minimum they're looking at for a correct answer is 23,333. I wish you all the best. Relax. Oh, what can I tell you? Manjeet, you put money in. Daniel, you didn't get a chance to come across. They're going to give you a really warm send off. Good night, Manjeet and Daniel. You're just one question away from staking your claim on your share of that prize fund. Now, one question is worth 23 grand plus change minimum. I'll be back with it in a moment. <laughs> 70 grand, not bad. Only three in winner's row. They're going to sit there for a few minutes. It will feel like hours to them. But here's where you can earn some really big money. You can win the lot. That means... We're going over to the National Lottery for tonight's Thunderball Draw. And we're live at Lottery HQ with your host, Mr. John Partridge. Thanks very much, Alan, and hello to everyone at home. Now, we've got a couple of chances for you to win big tonight with the Thunderball Draw and, of course, Lotta, which has a great big roll of a jackpot up for grabs. Plus, a little later on, we've got a treat for you in the form of four hunky men who make up the band Lawson. Now, they're going to be here for a chat to answer your questions and to help start that big Lotto draw. But first, you guessed it, it's Thunderball. Those machines, if you would please, Matt. Our draw master tonight, Matt Chamberlain. The draw's being overseen by Nicola Trevally. Excalibur 5 and Cerebral's 3. They were selected at random for us earlier today by Bridget Harris from Tufnell Park. Over three and a half million pounds has been won on Thunderball in the past week. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to all you lucky winners. John. Indeed, congratulations and good luck for tonight's draw. Here we go then. Round and round they go. The selected two has won for us. There it is, number five. Now don't forget, 39 balls in all to pick from in this first machine. You just choose five of them if you would. That is number 32. Three opportunities per week to play the game. Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. Next up, 25. And the two more from this our first machine. Here's the first of them. That's number eight. And finally, from this, our uh, first machine. How about that one there? 24. Excellent. John. You're all still in with a chance to win a cash prize, so good luck. Yep, here we go. Good luck from me too this weekend. 14 in there. One of them will leap up in a moment. There it is, and we'll check that in at number nine. So, here are tonight's Thunderbolt numbers again, this time in ascending order. Five. Eight. 24, 25, and 32. The Thunderball, nine. Jump. We'll be back very soon with that rollover lotto jackpot and our special guest, Lawson. I wonder if they like a rollover. But right now, it's back over to Dale and Winner's Row. I'll see you soon. <laughs> well, if you've just joined me, you've chosen a fine time. As I look across at Winner's Row, three very happy faces because together they helped put £70,000 in the prize fund. 
That means that they're each looking at the turn of one question, yeah, one question only, £23,333 minimum. Uh, Scott, that's not bad odds when you think that you put in five grand. Yep. And you did time it well, but it was close. Skin in my teeth. How do you feel? Um, relieved, to be honest. I thought I thought I was going to miss out, so it's great to have yeah. the opportunity to come over. I feel terrible so, for managing. I mean, and you have a very good reason for wanting the money. You've only got one question each. So here's your next question, which happens to be your last question of the night. Are you ready? Uh, yes. I wish you the best of luck. Please reveal the question. The original version of the board game Monopoly was based on the streets of which city was it? Boston, Atlantic City, or Philadelphia? You're smiling. I never know when people smile. Is it good smile, bad smile? Bad smile. Oh. Um, the original version of the board game Monopoly was based on the streets of which city? I'm wondering why Atlantic City's in there. Because Boston and Philadelphia are quite big cities. I'm wondering if Atlantic City's in there because it's the right answer. Monopoly. Boston's a very old city. Philadelphia's an old city. Atlantic City's quite a new city. Because it's an unusual one, and because my gut instinct drew me to that one, first of all, I've got a horrible feeling I might be wrong, but I'm thinking Atlantic City. Would you like me to accept Atlantic City as the answer? Yes, please, Neil. I do. I have. If it's right, the minimum you're going home with is 23,333. If it is wrong, the girls are playing for 35 grand apiece. Is the answer Atlantic City? Uh, since you arrived on Winners Row, you put in £20,000. You have every right to be here. You're looking at 23333 at the turn of one question. Are you ready? I'm ready, Dan. Your last question of the night, here it is. Matt Bellamy, Chris Wollstonehume and Dominic Howard have found fame as members of which band? Is it Muse? Elbow or Kasabian? Oh, no. Rock music? Not my thing, Dale. Oh. I've heard of Matt Bellamy. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I've heard of him. There's not even one that I think, oh, I know their name, so I know it's not them. My first instinct was Muse, and I don't know why. I'm, I'm going to go with Muse, Dale. Would you like me to take Muse as your answer? Yes. Yeah. Done. If the answer is Muse, you are also going home, just like Scott, with £23,333. If it's wrong, He's going home with 35 grand, and that's what Helen's playing for. I'd love you to be right, because you've put 20 grand in. Please tell me the answer is Muse. Yeah! Well done, Arnold. Well done, Arnold. Yes. You did it. OK, Helen. 70 grand in a prize fund. I wish you the best of luck. Please let me see Helen's question. OK. Which British seaside resort has a famous harbour wall known as the Cobb? Is it Skegness, Blackpool, or Lyme Regis? Oh, I have no idea. 
famous harbour wall known as the Cobb. Blackpool is just coming at me. I'll have to take Blackpool, Dale. Would you like me to take Blackpool as your answer? Yes, because I've no idea. Yeah? Yes, yes, thank you, Dale. I accept Blackpool. If it is right, we've completed the trilogy of 23 plus for each of you. If it is wrong, it's a clean 35 grand a piece for the other two. Don't want that to happen, Helen. I'm hoping it's Blackpool. Is the answer Blackpool? I'm Regis. I am so That's sorry. Okay, you put more in. I'm so sorry, okay. darling. Mm. Safe journey home. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. You guys can relax. I'll be back with your checks for 35 grand in just a moment. An unusual final round. It does mean they can relax. I'm about to give them a check for 35 grand a piece. Here's where you can win, oh, unending amounts of money. And I hope you do as we cross over. Go back to the National Lottery for tonight's big lotto draw. Good luck, everyone. Poor oh, hello. Missing out right at the last minute. Well, here's something you at home will not be missing out on. That's tonight's special guest. Now, they're relatively new to the music scene, having only released their first single in 2012, but they've already racked up three top five hits and a top five album. They are Andy, Ryan, Joel and Adam from Lawson. Good evening, fellas. How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome Good to Lottery HQ. Oh, nice you. to see you. See you. Oh, nice to How's see you. Going? Now, so much success in such a short time, but your feet haven't hit the ground, have they? It's been amazing. A lot of pinch yourself moments, but it makes all those years in the back of a van sure. all worthwhile. Now you've got lots coming up. You've got a tour and a single, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we've got the Everywhere We Go tour. It's our biggest tour we've ever done. It kicks off in September, runs through October, all over the UK and Ireland. It actually starts off in North America, so uh, wow. we can't wait, and tickets are available now. And a new single? Yeah, it's called Broken Hearted. Uh, features B.O.B. and it's out next weekend. Well, we've got a little clip, so let's take a look. Well, that video is a long way off from the stuff you used to, uh, Film in your kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Tell that me about was, that. Uh, my kitchen back home in Seaford. We actually uh, filmed all over my house, didn't we? It, it was is, kind yeah. of a portable kind of studio for yeah. us. But, uh, <laughs> Not really portable. No, it was kind of solidly <laughs> there. Yeah. But no, uh, yeah, we did a lot. We did a load of covers for YouTube. Sure. That was Katy Perry Fire, where we did Bruno Mars. Yeah. Did a couple. Well, we've got some questions here from your uh, fans. So the first one is from Pollyanna, and she says, "What's the best thing about your job?" It's got to be the gigs, hasn't it? It's Probably got to touring, be the gigs yeah. Touring. We, we get to visit some amazing places. We've just been to Southeast Asia recently and, and do gigs in all these places. It's just a dream come true. Incredible, right? Number two, Emma Howe, one, four, three. She asks, "What's the best joke you have played on each other?" We always like Adam. <laughs> always goes on stage first. We always oh, like to I leave it just a little bit too long, so he's out in front of thirty thousand people on his own. It could have happened oh, tonight. I'm lucky. <laughs> Finally, let's get M Bob's in. M Bob two five one zero. She wants to know what's your most embarrassing moment on stage. Uh, I'll probably take that one. I actually, I actually fell over on stage at Wembley Stadium, which is uh, <laughs> not the best. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for answering those questions. I'm sure you've made all your fans very happy. Now, if you want to see more from these boys at Lottery HQ, head online and follow the links. But right now, it's time for that multi-million pound rollover. <laughs> Uh, what's in that pot tonight? Guys, how about a fantastic £6.1 million? <laughs> Alan, let's do this. Come okay, on, let's do let's this. Okay, let's release those rollover balls. And 
thanks to Bridget from Tufnell Park. We're using Merlin and St. Alls 5. Over 698,000 winners this week. We've won a very lucky ticket, hitting the jackpot last weekend, winning over 3.8 million pounds. Incredible. But as no one matched with all six main numbers midweek, we have that lovely rollover jackpot to play for tonight. Let's do it, John. Matt, is Merlin ready? He is indeed, John. Lads, it's time for that rollover. Ready? <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. You. <laughs> you ready? One, two, three. Here we go. And the first one tonight, which is it going to be? There's the answer, number 45, drawn a mere half a dozen Wednesdays ago as well, that one. 278th time we've seen it next this Saturday night. How about that one, number 34, drawn midweek and last Saturday, 226th time now. There's a lotto main ball. There's the next one, that's number 7, 247th time. That one's been drawn, last time it emerged some three Wednesdays ago, actually. Here's the fourth one, and that is number 13, 214th time it's appeared, drawn the Wednesday before last two. And the fifth one, please. There it is, that's number 31, bonus the Wednesday before last, 288th Lotto Outing. And the sixth one could make you very rich. Right there, it's number 25, 286th Lotto Outing, drawn five Wednesdays back to. And the bonus tonight, should you need it, is right there, number four. So Millionaire's Row this weekend looks like this, in ascending order. Seven. Thirteen. Twenty-five. Thirty-one. Thirty-four. And 45. The bonus tonight, number four, Johnny Peak. Well, that's us done for tonight. Thanks very much, fellas, for coming in. Good luck with the tour and the singles. Now, if you've played those plus fives this week, Alan will give you the results at the end of the show. The Lotto, Thunderball and Euro Millions draws for the week can be viewed online on the day of the draw from 9.30pm. Gorgeous Jenny Faulkner is here next Saturday at 8.20 with all the weekend draws and she'll be joined by singer Cara Emerald. You do not want to miss that. Right now, it's back over to Dale and the team of In It to Win It. It's good night from me, good night from Al. Good night. And hello from Lawson. <laughs> hello. <laughs>my work is done I've even written the checks and they're looking pretty good it means two players going home with 35 grand Scott congratulations 35,000 pounds well done enjoy it it says Soraya Blanco oh 35,000 congratulations well done well done enjoy Well, I've had a great night tonight. I hope you've enjoyed watching In It to Win It too. So come back and join us again real soon. Until then, have a good night now. Good night. Uh, a very happy Soraya and Scott. Well done to you both. This week's Lotto Plus 5 results are coming up in just a moment. So this week's plus five results are for Sunday the 23rd of June 2, 12, 21, 29, 42, 44. The bonus, nine. For Monday the 24th of June 12, 26, 37, 40, 45, 49. The bonus, two. For Tuesday the 25th of June 11, 15, 21, 26, 27, 33. The bonus, 42. For Thursday, the 27th of June, 1, 2, 5, 13, 21, 48. The bonus, 27. And the final result for the week, Friday, the 28th of June, 14, 15, 28, 38, 40, 43. The bonus, 29. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, won't you?